axe murderer, Fenderlay Silva. Not only looking for a victory, but looking for a highlight reel knockout. Set to face the Dean of Mean, Pete Jardine. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. The Brazilian is one year younger than the American. Jardine is three inches taller and will have a two inch reach advantage. Silva, Jardine, set to go from Las Vegas. And with the official introductions, once again, the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins with four losses and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, he is the Dean of Mean, Keith Jardine! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 31 wins with 8 losses and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the former Pride Middleweight Champion, he is the Axe Murderer, Bondola! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Steve Mazzagatti. All right, gentlemen, now this is it. We will have a clean, fair fight. You need to obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. Now let's hook them up. Wow. That's a serious stare down right there. That's what I'm talking about. Pete Jardine looks very intense and always intense. He is that man, Vanderlei Silva. All right, bring it on, come on. Here we go. Vanderlei Silva, Keith Jardine. Jardine in the gray trunks. Silva in the black trunks. Keith has a very unorthodox style that gives a lot of people a lot of problems. Including the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. He's going to want to keep Silva on the outside. If Silva gets inside and throws some of those knees, it could be good night. Oh, and down he goes Jardine. He's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Silva trying to finish. It is all Junior. Victory for Vanderlei Silva. The ex-murderer. Wow. Vanderlei is back. Vanderlei Silva. Look at him. Huge victory for Vanderlei. He said he wanted a quick knockout. And he got it. Keith throws a kick. Vanderlei counters with a right hand. Drops him. Left hand. Right hand. Keith's in big trouble here. And Vanderlei swarms on him. He's got probably the best killer instinct and finishing of, of any fighter in MMA. If he's got you hurt, he swarms on you. And here he's swarming all over Keith. Keith is trying to get back to his feet. He's trying to retain guard. And Vandalay's got him mounted. Keith's dazed. He's in big trouble here. One and punch after it. another. Mercifully saved. The axe murderer, Vandalay Silva. This is why Dana White was so excited to get this man back in the UFC. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Mazzagatti has called a stop to this contest at 36 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Axe Murderer, Bunderland.
It took Vanderlei Silva 36 seconds to remind everyone just how good he can be. Simply put, that was vintage axe murder as he unleashed one of the most feared right hands in MMA and quickly finished off Keith Jardine. Well, that's our hard-hitting edition of UFC Wired. Three fights, three vicious knockouts. Chris Lieben was able to dig deep and finish off Terry Martin. Matt Wyman looked outstanding in finishing off Thiago Tavares. And Vanderlei Silva returned to his old self by disposing of Keith Jardine in less than a minute. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on UFC Wired.